gold and crude oil both stayed bullish today gold achieving the highs at 1947.6 while crude oil has also gone towards 88.6 dollar levels i hope you all profited as we discussed in our asia and europe session update that beyond 1940 gold might turn bullish for 1946.5 and then 1954 at the same time us crude was also by above 87.6 where the target was at 88 88.6 and 89.2 Now, what to expect today from the U.S. session? Which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. If you think that this content is adding value to your trading decisions, do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do press the bell icon. This is the second update for the day for gold and oil. Those who watched the first update with the Asia and Europe session must have profited. With that, let's first we look into gold, followed with oil. Watch till the end. And yes, if you are looking for live market updates, you can join my free Telegram channel. where you get the live updates the link is mentioned in the channel and video description now look at the early charts of gold see here was the divergence it is since then take the support from the 20 period moving average and now continuing to move continue to move upwards and it is right now divergent from the moving average also now you can see the support here is very very strong at 1935 levels only below which we can expect that it is going to enter into a sell position as long as 1935 is respected we are not going to treat gold as bearish yes this is going to be a great support also look at this in 1940 was the resistance which it has breached with a stronger bullish momentum hence for once it may try to breach 1940 and move towards 1935 if you see it is staying below this then you can say that it is turning bearish else it is still going strong stochastic overbought magd divergent and bullish rsi looking upwards looking overbought as of now coming to 2 hours Similar observation on the two hour charts as well. Convergence towards moving average, moving upwards, taking the support from nineteen thirty five, continuing to move upwards. In fact, now the support levels at nineteen forty are very very strong. If you see, price is staying below nineteen forty. You can sell, but the only bearishness is only below nineteen thirty five, below which I will be looking forward to thirty thirty two zone, which is going to remain strongest support. Since couple of days, I have mentioned that beyond nineteen thirty thirty two is where the bulls will take over. stock asstic entering into overbought zone macd is divergent macd is bullish looking upwards rsi is overbought on the 3 hour similar observation here convergence towards moving average moving upwards yes 1935 is a great great support in fact as i said yes you can sell at 1940 but then be cautious and alert because see higher lows and double bottom is seen hence these levels are going to remain a great support here in between 1935 and 40 stock has taken over bought macd has crossed over trading with divergence and bullishness rsi is over bought here coming to 4 hour chart now on the 4 hour chart see first of all after consolidation this is the breakout with the asia session today and yes the first breakout candle then a consolidation then the second candle yes bullishness getting diminished is what you can see here thus we also this is trading outside bollinger bands and hence it has little more resistance there 1953-54 is something which is the next resistance zone. If it stays above 1948, we can again initiate a buying entry there. Expect 1954 levels to get achieved here. Stock has taken over bought. MACD has crossed over, trading with divergence and bullishness. RSI is over bought. Coming to the daily chart, looking at the daily chart, see the preceding two candles higher highs, higher lows. This candle has given a breakout. This candle is continuing on the upside. Also, if you look at it, it is. Come above the resistance zone. It has come above the, above this channel. Yes, nineteen fifty fifty four is the greatest greatest resistance here. Beyond that, I will be looking forward to nineteen sixty five, nineteen eighty levels here. First thing, it has to stay above nineteen fifty fifty four zone. See, this is where couple of times gold has shied away from breaching past. Now it is trying to come out of this zone. Moving average is far below. It is trying to converge crossover. Not yet crossed over. stock has taken over bought macd is divergent macd is still bullish candle size is still increasing and the rsi is looking upwards too now on the 4 hour chart as we saw things are over bought as of now for gold on other time frames as well hence a uh, only buying entry i will recommend is at 1948 levels beyond which now you can expect 1954 as the first target and then beyond that we are looking forward to 60 to 65 zone and then 1980 levels possibility exists that there should be a slight retracement but still you have to be cautious here on the downside i will recommend you to sell at 1940 but then only bearishness is below 1935 levels if you see price is staying below 1935 more bearishness may prevail and i will look forward for somewhere for it to achieve 1930 32 zone which is going to be a great great support zone as long as 1930 32 is respected we are not going to treat 
gold is bullish now what is happened see it can show a pull back towards this zone it can close the day around here at 1935 36 and then from tomorrow possibility of a retracement exist hence uh, i will not consider gold still as bullish we have to be careful at around these levels that is 48 54 very very strong resistance exists take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at crude oil and yes if you want to learn this art of trading you can join my mentor the 26 batch has started couple of days back and the 27 batch is going to start on 28th of november enroll yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now let's have a look at crude oil. see oil on the hourly charts here has given a breakout at 86 stayed bullish then retracement taking the support from 87 has seen a rise towards the next resistance and pivot levels at 88.6 yes 87.688 was the greater resistance it has already breached it for once and traded bullish now it is eroded eroded or erased almost all of the gains here 87 is now going to be the support below which i will recommend you to sell here 87 86.6 and then 863 major major support on the downside as you can see gold uh, oil is still trading in this bullish channel as of now the stock is stick looking downwards macd is trying to converge crossover for sell it is still in green rsi coming out of the overbought zone coming to 2 hour if you look at the 2 hour charts higher lows higher highs yes trading in this channel forming a good flag formation i will wait for it to break below 87 in order to confirm a bearish bias for 86.6 see prices are too much divergent from the 20 period that is why it may try to converge but still i will still expect it to get a very very good support at 86.6 and 86 only below which you can expect slight bearishness stock has taken has dropped macd is in green trying to converge crossover for sell RSI looking downwards here. Coming to three R charts. Now on the three R charts, higher lows are done. It can possibly re recover from here and move towards eighty eight point six, eighty nine levels. Yes, now only buying entries at eighty eight above which you can expect eighty six, eight point six, and eighty nine point two. In fact, ninety dollar levels also may get achieved. Right now, it is respecting higher lows and hence the bearish confirmation is if it trades below eighty seven, you can expect it to. Trade with a bearish bias, and hence a sell entry is only below eighty seven. Stock has taken looking down. MACD is in green and divergent. RSI looking downwards here. Likewise on the four R chart, see higher lows, higher highs, and this candle has a smaller wick on the upside and a flat opening. This suggests that there could be a reversal later in the day, which may drive the prices in fact towards ninety dollar. Be very very cautious, alert. Yes, it has given a see. the rise the retracement taking the support from the moving average the rise it could retrace towards 86 but 86 is a very good support it can again bounce back but that is the only case that it may it tries to retrace i still expect that uh, the probability for it to reverse exists strong here a stock has taken overbought macd is in green trying to trade with divergence rsi looking downwards here coming to the daily now see on the daily charts we have seen the major swings here if you look at this see these three are beautifully aligned here and these three are beautifully aligned now 88.6 is achieved the pivot is at 86 and if it draws from there so 86.186 is going to remain a great great support as long as these positions are respected i will not treat oil as bearish even if it tries to achieve it can possibly bounce back and recover again on the upside also on the 3 hour charts for our charts we have seen a flat opening it suggests that it may try to reverse for once towards 88 and 88.6 level at least for once it may try to achieve those levels in fact beyond that yes more bullishness may prevail as this was the first bullish candle the second bullish candle may take it towards 90 dollar levels as well be careful here stochastic is overbought macd has crossed over trading with divergence and bullishness it can continue on the upside here rsi is flat so looking at this i will recommend you to buy oil at 88 and sell at 87 if you are selling at 87 you have to re remain extremely vigilant 86 levels is where we have maximum support 86.6 first very strong as support here 86.6 86.5 levels and then 86 levels these two are strongest support below this only bearishness is going to prevail and then you can initiate a selling or you can continue to stay short below 86 levels but till then you have to put a trailing stop loss or put your stop loss at entry price on the upside buy at 88 levels expect 88.6 and then 89.2 if it stays above 89.2 certainly 90 dollar levels are getting achieved this time and hence take your positions accordingly 
ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस एंड ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट ज्वाइन माय मेंटरशिप बैच एंड सिग्नल्स चैनल रीच आउट टू मी फॉर एनी ऑफ योर ट्रेडिंग और ट्रेनिंग क्वेरीज माय टेलीग्राम एंड ईमेल आईडीज आर मेंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव अ ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे अहेड सी यू अगेन टुमारो विद एशिया एंड यूरोप सेशन अपडेट फॉर गोल्ड एंड क्रूड एल वॉज दैट एज एल थैंक यू